What's going on guys? I hope you all are doing great. Welcome back to another episode and today I'm bringing you guys a very interesting video. Today I would be sharing with you guys some of the most useful tools that I use in Lightroom while editing my pictures. If you guys haven't seen my photography work, make sure to check out my Instagram. The link is going to be down below. But without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Tip number one, a grid overlays. When I actually learned about this tool, the only question I asked myself is, why did I not know about this before? When I initially start editing a picture, my first step is cropping and composing my shot. For this, I can press R on my keyboard or go ahead and press this tool on top. Once I do this, the software will defaultly give me a 3x3 grid, which is extremely useful if you're trying to compose your shot using the rule of thirds. But if you go ahead and press O on your keyboard, you will see that there are a bunch of different overlays. So next time when you're editing your picture, make sure to make use of different different overlays because this will help you in composing your shot in a much creative way and in a different way every single time. Tip number two is auto tone, an extremely useful tool if you're just starting out editing your pictures and you don't know where to start off from. Right next to where it's written tone, there is this option called auto. Pressing it enables Lightroom to make some basic changes so that you have a good canvas to start off from. So this might mean that adjusting the exposure, the highlights, the shadows, just basic settings so that you could start off editing your picture well. This doesn't mean that this is your final picture, but this is surely a good point to start off from. Tip number three is making use of the radial brush. One of the tools I use most frequently when I'm editing my pictures. It helps me driving focus towards my subject and highlighting my subject better. So go ahead and click the circular icon on top. This would enable the radial brush. Then draw a circle around the subject of your picture. In this case, I would like to highlight the model's face as she is the main subject of the picture. Once you've done that, you'll notice that any kind of changes that you try to make will only affect the things that are outside the circle. To fix this, go ahead and click on this invert button. Now, any kind of changes that you'll make will only affect the things which are inside the circle. So in this case, I would like to increase the exposure a little bit and also the highlight a little bit. So this overall will help a viewer to focus straight on the subject of your picture. A very powerful tool and something that should be totally be using to highlight the subject of a picture. Tip number four is before and after. Sometimes you're just having a good time editing a picture, playing around with a bunch of tools and a bunch of settings. In such a scenario, checking back on the unedited picture can be really important to make sure you're not over editing the picture. So in such a case, this key can be extremely useful. Pressing it would give you a preview of the picture unedited. You could also head down to this option right here and this would give you a live comparison between the unedited picture and the edited picture. Overall, developing a habit of checking the picture unedited is really useful because it makes sure that you don't over edit a picture and spoil it. So that's it for today's video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed and you guys actually learned something out of this. Make use of these tools next time you guys are editing a picture. Hit that like button, subscribe if you guys haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video.